What's good guys, today I'm going to be showing you guys the best way to farm Zenitsu by yourself, solo method, and how to get there. So let's start off at the starter village at, at the soup shop. So you see the, old, the the auntie here, you'll see the soup guy here. All you want to do, straight, go straight up. Now if, you should probably have 100 yen stored, if you don't have 100 yen just go farm trinkets or um, yeah just farm trinkets here because there's a lot in this village so. Once you get here you want to go to the guy in, with the fast travel on PC. Go to Okuya Village. Like I said, if you don't have 100 yen, you just run over there. But if you if you drop it, then that's a lot better. Alright, so from here, you want to find the area that has the final selection. So the path that gives you final selection and um, to the Slayer Corp as well. So you'll see a big uh, a big um, wisteria tree here. So once you're here, once you're here, the fog should lighten up a bit. And yeah, you do not want to go left, because left is for Slayer exams. What you want to do is go right. So as you guys can probably hear, there's already people farming Zenitsu. So if there are, just follow the noises, because the, the sounds are pretty loud, so it shouldn't be hard to find. Just keep going down this path, and yeah, just follow me from this part. As you guys can hear from the gameplay, there's like, there's people farming Zenitsu, so... Um, it's ideal to find an empty server where no one else is farming it, but right now he's one of the best ways to get AXP, so what you want to do is keep going straight, and you'll see this little blank area here, and then you'll see a Thunder Breather here. So this is where Zenitsu spawns. This is where he spawns. So as you can see, this is a... Oh, this is a Slayer corpse. Okay, wait. <laughs> the hell? Um, there's a guy here who's farming him. So yeah, here is where he spawns. So once he's already been killed, he's gonna take like a few minutes to respawn again, so just wanna wait it out. Um, now the solo method, I don't know how I can show you guys because there's someone in this, in this uh, farming method with me, so... Um, what you wanna do is try to side dash his thunderclap and flash because it has a bit of startup, but if you get ragdoll from him from his M1s, it's gonna be a bit harder to do that, so... Also, a thing is, you do not want to get caught in his M1s, because his M1s do a lot of damage. So make sure to be careful of that. If he ragdolls you, he's going to try to walk up to you and do the multiple slash move, I think it's called sixfold. I'm not sure which which, uh, which form it is. But yeah, yeah, as you can see, he does that. I'm going to dash away. Yeah, he's going to try to do that. So his attack pattern isn't really hard to, um, it's not hard to memorize. It's really easy and predictable, so my main strategy is just to run away a bit and... Make sure to- I have an eye frame move so I can easily uh, avoid his- what's it called? Here's another method you can do, here's the eating method where you, he's gonna constantly try to grip this guy. It's a lot easier to do because he literally just doesn't attack back so you can get an ult count- oop! You, do, you don't want to knock him back. You do not want to knock him back. Do 3 M1s. 3 M1s. Yo chill bro. Chill chill chill. Alright, so Zenitsu is in the floor right now. Once he's out, he's gonna try. Uh, hold on, let me bring him to this guy. So, yeah, here's the best method bring a friend or just get your alt count and just keep farming him like this. Don't knock him back though, because then he's gonna try to get up and um, use Thunderclouds. So you used to do three M1s. Just keep doing this method. This is literally the best way to farm Zenitsu right now. And this is the way to farm all bosses. This is literally the best way to do it. So, yeah. Then you can just grip him again. So yeah, this is the best way to do it. Um, I can't get footage for you guys because this guy's already farming, but this is the best way. You can get a separate device and bring your own alt, or you can just uh, use multiple Roblox. I don't, I'm not going to show you guys how to install that because I don't know if it's allowed. But yeah. But yeah, that's pretty much the best way to farm Zenitsu. You can do it solo because the boss is predictable and easy, but the most efficient way is just to get in, is your friend there. Alright, so if they don't let you farm with them, just leave them because they'll probably just kill you at that point. So yeah, that's the best way to farm Zenitsu. I just want to thank this guy for her, like just being there to explain it pretty much so I didn't have to explain much. But yeah, this is alt count right here. He's just on the floor here. 
yeah, I'll just show you guys another method on how he's gonna do it. So he gets him aggroed, he leads him to the to the altar, the friend. Try not to get by Zena too, because he's gonna do a lot of damage, especially his M1s. Zenitsu does get trapped a lot like that, but yeah. Once he's there, he's gonna try grip, but there's a method where your friend just can't get up. So like your friend is just stuck there and Zenitsu can't grip, so you basically have infinite time to do whatever you want. This works for all NPCs, it works for the crystal boss, it works for Rui. It doesn't work for Okuro because Okuro doesn't grip. Like if you get knocked down in that fight, then you you all get teleported back. So yeah. That's the main farming method. If you guys like the video, make sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment down below if this helps you, and yeah. That's it for the video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.